Okay, so next up, I'd like to welcome Matt Gibb to the virtual stage to talk about um, Camera Grant and nudes in the North Country. Is there gonna be some music involved in this presentation? <laughs> I'm muted. Sorry, there there will be no music. Um, sorry <laughs> that my uh, my musical abilities ran out at five p.m. So um, just right. just missed it. Um, but I do. Yours. <laughs> thank you. Um, I do like alliter alliterations though. So um, this is my upstate update with nodes in the North Country. Uh, hey everybody, I'm I'm Matt Gibb. Uh, you can find me on on OSM. I'm, my username is Giblet with a capital G because they are case sensitive, as I found out after I made my username. Um, and I'm also on Threads. Um, me and like the two other people probably, um, but I'm no longer on on Twitter. But let's dive right in. Um, so I am talking to you today from Glens Falls, New York. Um, when I tell people I live in New York, they're like, "Oh, cool. Where in the city?" There is so much more to New York than New York City. Um, as I'm sure many of you who work with maps are aware, um, but for those of you who are not familiar with the state of New York, it's huge. Um, and New York City is just a small part of it. Uh, so Glens Falls is actually a, a small city uh, in upstate New York. Um, I could do a whole other you know, 45 minute session on what is upstate New York um, because everyone has a different opinion, um, but because I have the stage, uh, right now, I will say I live in upstate New York. Um, and what I say regarding upstate is is correct in this case. Um, but many people will debate you on that. Uh, the population in 2020 uh, was just under 15,000 people. So it's, it is a small, very small city. Um, but the, the population has stayed about the same uh, over the last 10 years. Um, it's right along the Hudson River, uh, about 40 minutes north of Albany, and it's just outside the Adirondack Park, which is the largest park in the contiguous United States. Um, so that's shaded here in green on this map. Uh, there's a lot of history around here um, from, you know, pre-revolutionary wartime uh, throughout the revolution with Fort Ticonderoga and uh, Fort William Henry, um, all the way down to Albany being you know, a very important um, part of, you know, colonial U.S. history. So there's a lot of history around here. Um, it's really cool. We're four hours from Boston, four hours from New York, uh, only three hours from Montreal, and we're 20 hours from Omaha, Nebraska. I looked that up last night. I hear they have a nice zoo there, but it would take me about 20 hours to get there. Um, and they have one of the recipients of the OSM US Camera Grant Program, which is me. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about some of what I've been doing in Glens Falls. Uh, in OSM and Mapillary. So there are not too many mappers in, in you know, north of Albany, um, but there are, there are some and they are great people. Um, there is the local New York State Slack channel. I encourage people to join if you are familiar with the area or if you're not familiar with the area, come check it out. Um, I didn't want to throw any usernames out here to you know, put anybody on the spot or, um, or anything like that, but um, there's, there's a, a few people around and, you know, I talk with people through messages and, and closing notes in the area and that, and that's nice, but it's certainly, you know, a smaller group, especially uh, given the large area that, um, you know, upstate New York covers. So I moved back to Glens Falls. Um, I grew up in this area. I moved here about two years, two years ago um, from Washington, DC. And so in that time, um, I've, I've really been focused on, you know, just improving the, the foundational data in, in Glens Falls and the immediate area where I live. So in the past two years, we've gone from 425 buildings to over 3,000, uh, which I, I'm estimating is about, you know, just over 50% complete. Um, highways have stayed about the same because it, it is a small city, so most of the highways are already mapped. I've been focused on mapping sidewalks, uh, you know, so I've doubled the amount of sidewalks. Um, in the area, but still only about 10% complete there. And then been uh, improving the, the natural land use uh, features there as well. And so, you know, this was uh, January 1st, 2022. And then looking at things today, the map is starting to fill in uh, pretty nicely. So um, while, you're, while you're watching these talks, feel free to, to uh, jump in and, and map some buildings. My editing approach um, sort of switches up to, depending on my mood and no real organization around it. Unfortunately, when I tried to use Rapid, 
Um, the Microsoft buildings disappeared. Um, I don't know why. Um, so, you know, I get weird little clusters like this, but then, you know, the rest of them are gone. So I have to map the, the buildings manually. I've looked at some of the Microsoft building footprints and, and downloaded them and, you know, just decided to be more quick to just map them uh, from scratch. I use uh, ID editor for mapping points of interest and during short meetings, uh, if I'm not paying attention. Uh, and then, you know, Jossum if I'm doing anything major. And then uh, plenty to do in street complete while, while I am walking my dog. And that's my dog uh, the other day. He was enjoying the snow that we got. Uh, mapillary coverage uh, over um, the past two years. This is uh, lower left here is all the map mapillary coverage. We have the uh, 360 degree mapillary coverage um, and my contributions to those uh, 360 degree uh, images. Uh, as part of the camera grant program, um, I was given a uh, GoPro Max camera and um, I named it Worldview Local. Um, if you uh, know where I work, that might make sense. Um, so I thought that was fun. Um, but as you can see, you know, there, there's a lot left to go. Um, you know, there's really only a few um, trips I've taken since I got it uh, late last summer. Um, but Yep, still, still working through things. Just some early reflections on the program. I love it, free stuff. I would not be doing this otherwise. Um, I, I probably would not have spent the money to get a 360 degree camera. Um, so it's it's awesome. The three point mount that uh, came with the the grant, this one, um, it's awesome. Um, it I stayed on my car going 75 miles an hour down the the interstate, so that was that was cool. Um, Time-lapse photos works great on it, um, and I get to buy more things. I got really excited about buying a battery charger. That was fun. Um, some opportunities for improvement, not necessarily for the program itself, um, just feedback in general. I don't like the GoPro app. Um, seems to be the last thing it wants you to do is actually use the camera and would rather you buy the subscription to GoPro. So not in love there. Um, some upload issues, but thank you to um, Nav from Mapillary Support. Uh, he's been wonderful in getting back to me. There's, you know, I've got some issues here uh, with uploading the videos, uh, but other other than that, you know, it's been been a great program. Otherwise, I wouldn't uh, have been collecting this stuff. Um, and then I just get dirty looks from family members uh, whenever I bring the camera out. They're like, we have to wait for you to set it up, get connected, and 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 go on. And I think I am running out of time. Yes. All right. So I'll just pass through some pictures here. What's next? I'm gonna keep mapping. Um, the main point I wanna get across, small towns are important. Um, keep small towns in the conversation and making sure local amenities and small businesses can be found. Um, that's what I put on my grant application and I, I really believe that. Uh, Matt Wilden has a really cool application on Mastodon uh, for Unmapped Small Towns USA. So go check that out, it's really cool. Um, thank you. And thanks to all these folks. Fantastic. Thanks, Matt. You can ask Matt some questions in the chat. Um, 